Today you guys are going to be doing a strawberry lab where we crush up strawberries and we pull out their DNA. For this lab, make sure you have your handout with you. And to start off, read through the materials and make sure you go get all your materials from the supply station. Go ahead and pause the video now and go get your materials. All right, once you're back to your station, the first thing you're going to do is take your two strawberries, your paper towel, and your plastic knife. Here's one, okay? And before I start cutting anything, I'm going to, safety first, take my goggles, put them on, okay? And all I'm doing right now is I'm cutting off the top of my strawberry, so I'm going to cut the green top off, okay? And then I'm going to kind of cut these down into some smaller chunks, all right? This isn't like super precise or anything like that. You just need to cut them up. There we go. Then I'm going to take my Ziploc bag and I'm going to put my strawberry chunks inside. And I'm going to leave my two green stems on my paper towel and I'm, I'm going to push that plus my, my plastic knife just over here to the side. Okay. Next up I need to get my my extraction buffer. That's that blue solution in this graduated cylinder here. I need to add all 10 milliliters to my bag. All right. Then, and this is the part where you need to listen very, very carefully because if any of this ends up on the floor, goodbye. All right. I'm going to zip up my bag most of the way. All right. And I'm going to push out the air. I want as little air as possible. So I'm pushing it out of this last little hole before I seal it. I'm going to seal up my bag. All right, y'all, here's the fun part. Here's the messy part. For here, you're going to take like a couple minutes and you're going to smash your strawberries. So whatever anger you have inside of you, go ahead and get it out now. You want to smash your strawberries as much as you possibly can. So this is why it's very important to make sure your Ziploc bag is sealed tightly. All right, I'm picturing things that make me mad right now. Ooh, I'm picturing a couple of y'all's faces. Just kidding, ha ha ha. Smash up your strawberry as best as you can, All right? It's gonna make some like weird, almost looks like a really disgusting strawberry smoothie mixture. You should do this a little bit longer than I did in the video, so for like a couple minutes, okay? All right, next up, and, and it's gonna get a little tricky for me here because I don't have a partner. Um, you're gonna take your test tube, okay? You're gonna put your funnel on top and make sure that the end of the funnel is going into the opening of the test tube. You're going to place your paper towel on top of that. Okay. Then you are going to let's see if I can do this. Pour the contents of your Ziploc bag on top of the funnel. Okay. It wants to stay, you want it to stay on top of your paper towel. Okay. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to pour all of it on top. Like I said, I don't have a partner. You can already see that I've got some strawberry fluid going into my tube. That's really good. So we're using this paper towel right here as a filter. We want as few chunks in here as possible. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of press down on my paper towel. I've, I folded it into here. I'm pushing down on it to make sure I can get only the liquid. So what you've done so far is you've taken your strawberry and you've crushed it up and you've, you've broken down that, those strawberry cells. So that cell wall, that cell membrane, it's all broken apart, all the, all the guts of the cell, the cytoplasm and the mitochondria, chloroplasts, um, the nucleus are just all over the place now in this mixture, okay? And so now as we're pushing through, we're getting only the smallest molecules, all right? So our DNA is somewhere inside this mixture. So for our very last step, I'm going to take my funnel, set it to the side. 
Let me show you one more thing though. Notice how there's not really chunks in here. It's just liquid. That is a good thing. All right. I'm going to put it to the side on top of my paper towel because it's going to get messy. And last but not least, I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol will separate our DNA from all the other molecules and all the other guts inside of our test tube. So I'm going to take my little pipette here and I'm going to add several, several drops. All right. So that's two, three, and four. All right. So if you look closely, you're going to see this clear liquid here. That's the alcohol. You're going to see your, our red strawberry guts at the bottom. But in between, you're going to see this kind of like, it kind of looks like snot, all right? This like cloudy kind of mixture. Uh, I forgot to get my popsicle stick. Let me get my popsicle stick. Hold on. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my popsicle stick, put it in my test tube, and I'm going to pull out some of my DNA. You might kind of have to twist it to the side. Right, and you can get some of the snot. It looks like snot, but that's actually strawberry DNA. We crushed up the millions of strawberries or the, the millions of cells inside that one strawberry. And this is all of the DNA from that strawberry. All right, so that's it for this lab today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this snotty strawberry DNA. Um, make sure you clean up by your lab. To do that, we're going to dump this in the back sink at the back of the classroom, throw away your paper towel, wash off your funnel and your test tube, um, and then you're done with class for today. Hope you enjoyed this lab.